Clarko, the Kangaroos released um, some news late last week about um, Renshaw and he's off footy for, for personal reasons. I don't think we need to, to go into any greater detail than that. It's personal reasons. But what what do you think or how do you think the industry can, can help Reese, or is this another alarm bell for for the for, for coaches and for for clubs and and the and the AFL? Yeah, listen, I'm, I'm a bit concerned for our profession. To be fair, you know, particularly the the, the 17 peers in the, the roles that we've got. Um, and as I said, hats off to Scotty and and Dimmer for managing the the seasons that they've had this year. But you know, when I look, look at a list that I, I made up earlier, you know, Hurdy. Uh, Bomber Thompson, uh, Bales, Walshy, Lades, Spud Frawley, Pikey, now Reece Shaw, um, and there's probably others too, you know, who have uh, who have done it tough. And in our in our industry, in our country, because it's a small fishbowl, not a large fishbowl. Um, any coach that does it particularly tough, he has to carry that in his public life more so than what a coach would have to do. In a, in a much bigger market like America or, or Europe. So um, now that carries an enormous strain for, for many in our industry. And I've got concerns given the, the high quality of all those lads that I've mentioned. Some have lost their lives, not directly as a result of, of coaching, but um, some of it has been stress related. Um, and you know, it's, it's sad to see well, what's, what happens to such decorated people in our game. You know, the, the Brett Rattons and the Michael Vosses and the Matty Primuses and these type of guys, Hurdy, that were such decorated uh, players on the field in their playing careers and then had a go at coaching it didn't work for them. Um, Rats, fortunately, of those, that quartet got another opportunity, but the other three haven't yet and may never get another opportunity. We're hoping that he might get a chance at the Kangaroos if he puts his, um, his hat into the ring. But... Um, I'm concerned and uh, I think the game should be concerned um, because it's an, an, an enormous burden to carry um, and uh, we need to be doing something both as individual clubs, individual coaches too. Um, you know, I think we've always looked after uh, everyone else in the club and put everyone else in the club before ourselves and maybe it might be time that we have to take stock ourselves of uh, just what our... Uh, our workflow is in our in our schedule because it's uh, it's now getting to a point where um, we're seeing some real casu- casualties out of our industry and uh, I don't think that's a good thing. Luke, yeah, well, I mean, I, Dana and I reached out to um, to Reece and, and Leah just to wish them all the best because I mean, without an insight into what happened to that football club this year, it's very difficult to comment on it. But our you know, as we know, I only met Reese last year, but he's just such a humble, um, good-natured, um, respectful guy. And I think what happens in, in the industry is that, yes, I mean, we all know that there's internal and external pressures and, uh, and we feel like we're, our capacity to handle that is, is pretty strong and it's pretty good. But we see what happens to people around us, um, the people we work with, definitely our families, uh, I think it affects our families more than it does us as individuals and and there is a flow-on effect. I quite often say to my two boys who are quite flighty, don't get angry, you know, it, it's, it doesn't concern me too much, so you shouldn't be concerned. But it's all right for Dad to say that, but they've got smoke coming out of their ears. And <laughs> um, and so, I, I, you know, Clarko has, is a lot more experienced than I am. Um, I've just finished my sixth year and... I've enjoyed most of it. There's plenty of highs, and but there's many, many downs. And to navigate through the, the really tough parts of this job and this caper, uh, you, you do need to lean on others. You do need to rely on others. And you do need intense support, you know. And, and that's why I'm really grateful for um, the consistency that I've had with our coaches and, and most of our staff over the journey. But I think more than ever with the cuts to the soft cap, with the extra strain around decision making and how it's affected people, uh, it's knocked a lot of people around. And as a flow on effect, it's knocked um, individuals around. And I'm sure Reese has felt a lot of that. And uh, I just hope, you know, that he's going to be okay because, you know, in a sort of strange kind of way, um, you know, he's probably more prepared again to. Uh, I know, Robbo, you wrote an article saying that he shouldn't coach next year. And, and he probably shouldn't, I don't know. But in many ways, he's probably 
you know, he's better prepared to coach next year because of what he's gone through this year because it's just been such a, a nightmarish year for many. That's a snapshot of...